This car can be both a usual worker, then it is called a transporter, and a car for a big family this is Caravel, and can serve a businessman and office on wheels, then this is already multivan. The Volkswagen commercial vehicle family is large and friendly, from the transporter delivery van and pickup truck with a four-door cab, to the practical Caravel and the respectable office on wheels multivan. By the way, its California version is even better suited for outdoor activities. And in 2007, an elongated version of the multivan appeared, growing in length to 5,790 mm, while the wheelbase increased by an impressive 400 mm. In fact, they are all the same car. Just depending on the name, all three cars differ in appearance, as well as in the settings of the chassis, steering and other systems. But in technical terms and in the use of power units, all three minivans are very close. For example, 1.9 liter diesel engines, 85.102 and 105 horsepower, and inline 2.5 liter fives with 131 and 174 horsepower were installed on the transporter and carabao, as well as 2.0 liter gasoline engines, 115 horsepower, and V6 3.2, 235 horsepower. A five-speed manual was combined with the force, and the base transmission for the R5 and V6 is a six-speed mechanics. As an option, a six-band automatic is available for them. In addition, the 231 horsepower multivan can be either front or all-wheel drive. But the multivan engine range is limited only to diesel 2.5 liter, fives, 131 and 174 horsepower, and gasoline or four with a volume of 2.0 liters, 115 horsepower and a 3.2 liter V6 with a capacity of 235 forces. With all engines, except for the 2 liter, a 6 speed mechanics is combined. Variants with the same motors can be combined with the 4x4 transmission. After restyling, minivans were equipped with only 2 liter units, diesel, 84, 102, 140 and 180 horsepower, and gasoline, 115 and 204 horsepower. Cars are much more common with diesel engines, the resource of many of which at the time of sale can be almost exhausted. This means enormous costs, from replacing pump injectors, 22,000 rubles each, and glow plugs, 4,500 rubles each, to a fuel pump, from 60,000 rubles, and engine overhaul. Moreover, five-cylinder engines are considered the most problematic. Petrol engines are less expensive. True, in general, a reliable 2.0 liter engine is recommended to be checked for wear on the cylinder piston group. However, keep in mind that with age, motor electrics can mope, ignition coils, 2,300 rubles, oxygen sensors, 4,800 rubles, throttle position, 3,700 rubles, and mass air flow, from 6,300 rubles. But the V6 is practically devoid of disease. True, it is more expensive to maintain. For example, for replacing the candles of the right row of cylinders on a V6 transversely located in the compartment, dealers charge about 6,000 rubles. Just for work. And in a cramped engine compartment, the engine often overheats. The clutch serves an average of 150,000 kilometers, and especially careful owners change it at the 300,000 kilometer true. Sometimes it has to be updated along with the dual mass flywheel of the engine, 2.5 and 1.9 liters which costs about 25,000 rubles. In manual transmissions, third gear flies out due to the weakening of the synchronizers. With age, the linkage of the lever becomes loose. Wet clutch DSG robots, which have been installed on vans since 2009, will incur serious costs in the event of a repair. We recommend changing the oil in them every 60,000 kilometers. In the suspension, most often, up to hundreds of thousands of kilometers, it is necessary to update the stabilizer struts and bushings, the support bearings of the struts, 2,350 rubles each. Shock absorbers and wheel bearings serve more than 150,000 kilometers. Transmission. On modifications with the 2.5 liter diesel engine, it is better to change the CB joint drives and the clutch assembly with the basket and release bearing at the same time, by about 150,000 kilometers. This way you can save a lot on labor. The fact is that the drive still cannot withstand more than this run. Checked multiple times. Engine. Motors are cramped under the hood, which greatly complicates their maintenance and repair. On turbo diesel or 5S, it is necessary to monitor the condition of the water pump. Its failure threatens to ingress coolant into the engine lubrication system. And then, believe me, 
expensive repairs cannot be avoided. It is desirable to install the original part. Suspension. The lifespan of suspension parts directly depends on the driving style of the owner. In the front suspension, after 100,000 kilometers, shock absorbers begin to flow, hub bearings and silent blocks of levers wear out. In the rear semi-dependent beam, there is nothing special to break. Even shock absorbers can last up to one and a half hundred thousand km, and often longer. Body. Pretty well protected from corrosion. However, the paintwork cannot boast of hardness. Chips on the hood appear quite quickly, although they do not rust for a long time. Chrome-plated decor details on expensive versions can fade or swell after two to three winters. But iron itself is very strong. Electric. The more sophisticated the minivan, the more problems happen over time in its electrical part. Indeed, in the conditions of Russian operation, numerous sensors, relays, and switches begin to fail and fail, into which dirt and water enter. However, the owners have already learned how to protect such places on their own. Pros and Cons Plus in general, good reliability, high torque and economical diesel engines, trouble-free gearboxes, spacious and comfortable convertible interior, high liquidity on the market. High price, expensive to maintain and repair, problematic 2.5-liter diesel engines.